What's up guys? This is Engineer Jack and this is Engineering Mathematics. So, magbibigay ako guys today ng example problems or random problems in our engineering mathematics. For our first problem, kukuha ko ng problem sa differential calculus and yung topic is time rates. So, yung problem, uh, the gas is escaping from a spherical balloon at a constant rate of 2 cubic feet per minute. How fast in square feet per minute is the outer surface area of the balloon shrinking when the radius is 12 feet? Yung radius nga is 12 feet and for example, uh, perfect spherical siya. Yung balloon natin is perfect, perfect sphere. And yung given, this is the rate of change with respect to time. Kaya dv over dt yan, so the rate of change of the volume na equal nga sa 2 cubic feet per minute. And yung tanong, the rate of change naman of the surface area. So the volume of the sphere, that is 4 pi r cube over 3. So yung r, this is the radius of the sphere. And yung v, that is the designation of our volume. So if we differentiate these variables, magkakaroon tayong ng volume na the rate of change naman with respect to time, kaya dv over dt yan, is equal to, this is the power formula naman na yung exponent natin na, ng variable na r, it take down natin yan, kaya multiply multiplied by 3 times 4 pi r 3 minus 1. So, ito yung formula natin for differential calculus. This is the power formula and over 3. Siyempre, uh, yung r natin or the radius is variable. So, nagbabago din yan. So, nagbabagong volume ng sphere. Nagbabago din yung radius natin. Kaya, nagkakaroon tayo ng rate of change naman of our radius with respect to time. Kaya, dr over dt. Na meron tayong value of the rate of change of the volume na 3 cubic feet per minute equal to magkakansil yung 3 kaya 4 pi times r squared na yung r nga is 12 feet squared times dr over dt so divide both sides by 4 pi times 12 squared so that is 2 cubic feet per minute all over 4 pi times 144 square feet that is also equal to 1.10524 times 10 raised to negative 3 feet per minute so guys pwede nyo i-pause yung video and i-check yung pagka-calculate ni engineer jack kung tama ba yung value and for our surface area naman, meron tayong formula for our sphere na that is equal to 4 pi r squared. So if we differentiate that formula naman, magkakaroon tayo ng the rate of change naman of our surface area with respect to time. So dsa over dt equal to uh, power formula. So if we bring down yung 2 natin exponent times 4 pi r 2 minus 1. Magliless tayo lagi ng 1 sa power formula sa exponent. Times yung rate of change naman of our radius with respect to time kaya dr over dt so equal to 2 times 4 pi r dr over dt and substitute so 2 times 4 pi times yung radius is 12 feet times yung value of dr over dt or the rate of change of our radius kasi nga nagbabago din yung radius natin that is equal to 1.10524 times 10 raised to negative 3 feet per minute so makakuha natin guys is dapat naka square feet per minute and that is equal to 1 third or 0. 33. And this is the answer for our first problem. So for the next problem, uh, we have algebra and yung topic is clock problems. So yung problem, in how many minutes after 2 o'clock will the hands of the clock extend in opposite directions for the first time? So as you can see in the figure, uh, this is the initial position in 2 o'clock and yung final position niya magiging ganito. Siyempre yung position nila dapat naka-opposite in direction. So yung tanong natin, in how many minutes nga after 2 o'clock na yung hands of the clock natin magiging nasa final position siya. So let's say this is a variable x and yung x natin this is the distance traveled by a minute hand in minutes. And let's say syempre gagalo din yung ano natin yung r hand and from the initial position to final position yung movement niya let's say that is x over 12 and this is the distance traveled by the r hand in minutes. So for our equation, pwede natin masabi na yung total value of x that is also equal to from 12 to 2, meron tayong travel distance sa 10 minutes plus yung x over 12 natin na movement ng r hand from initial position to final position which is x over 12 and sa new position naman, meron tayong 30 minutes kasi yung isang revolution in our clock, meron tayong 60 minutes. So kalahati nun, we have 30. And combine like terms, so ilipat ang sa kabila kaya magiging negative. So x minus x over 12 is equal to 10 plus 30 that is 40 and x minus x over 12 that is 11x over 12 is equal to 40. So meron tayong value of x now na 43.636 minutes. 
And this is the answer for problem number 2. For problem number 3, uh, yung subject natin this time is dynamics of rigid bodies for a specific topic, projectile motion. So, basahin ko muna ulit yung problem. A stone is thrown upward at an angle of 30 degrees with the horizontal. It lands 60 meters measured horizontally and 2 meters below measured vertically from its point of release. Determine the initial velocity of the stone. So, for example, uh, ito yung stone natin. And syempre, yung projectile motion natin, mag-point of release, gawin natin na origin in our Cartesian coordinate plane. So, let's say meron tayong y-axis and x-axis. And yung direction niya ng velocity of our stone, 30 degrees from the horizontal or from the x-axis. And sabi, meron tayong this the projectile motion. And yung travel distance niya is 60 meters from its point of release, horizontal, and 2 meters vertically from its point of release. Let's say yung VO, this is the initial velocity and yung, yun yung hahanapin natin. Pero guys, uh, meron tayong dalawang components of our initial velocity kasi naka-incline siya. So meron tayong vertical component and horizontal component. So yung horizontal component, that is VOX, that is our designation. And for vertical component naman, yung designation natin is VOY. So we can say that VOX using trigonometry that is also equal to VO cosine theta and yung VOY naman that is VO sine theta. So yun yan yung gagamitin natin na variables in these solutions. So first, balikan natin guys yung kinematics in our dynamics of rigid bodies. So we have formula in our kinematics na yung distance natin na S is equal to the initial velocity times time plus 1 half a t squared. Yung a natin, this is the acceleration, and yung t, this is the time traveled. So yung s naman, that is the distance. And another formula na ginagamit natin sa dynamics or sa kinematics in our dynamics, we have vf squared minus vo squared is equal to 2as. And yung vf, this is the final velocity, and yung vo nga, this is the initial velocity. And yung a, this is the acceleration, and yung s, this is the distance traveled. So, we can derive using this formula dito din sa projectile motion natin. Kasi ito ginagamit ito linear pero pwede din natin yung gamitin para makapag-derive tayo ng formula dito sa projectile motion. Kasi as you can see, yung projectile motion natin hindi siya linear. Pwede siyang parabola kasi curvature siya. At ibig sabihin, yung equation dapat natin makuha dapat naka second degree. After natin i-release yung stone, at this point of our stone in the projectile motion, meron tayong distance traveled niya na yung horizontal distance niya is variable x and yung vertical distance naman niya is variable y. So let's say yung pag horizontal yung ginamit natin na distance, x is equal to, gagamitin natin itong formula na distance VOT plus 1 of 80 squared and meron tayong VOX din. So yung VO natin this time, syempre pag horizontal yung gagamitin natin, dapat yung horizontal component naman ng initial velocity velocity kaya VOX times T plus 1 half yung acceleration natin syempre wala kaya times 0 times T squared so magka-cancel yan kaya magkakaroon tayo ng distance traveled in the horizontal direction is equal to the horizontal component of the initial velocity or VOX times time and for variable Y naman or distance traveled vertically we can also say that Yung initial velocity niya, syempre yung gagamitin natin is the vertical component of the initial velocity or VOY times T plus 1 half times Meron tayong acceleration due to gravity pero siyempre yung direction kasi ng vertical component of our velocity is baliktad compared sa gravitational acceleration kaya gagawin natin na negative yung acceleration due to gravity. Kaya negative g times t square. So meron tayong derived now na formula for our y distance traveled vertically that is equal to voyt minus 1 half g t square. So yun yung gagamitin natin to derive the formula. So yung x natin na vox times t, pwede natin ayusin yan na gawin natin na t in terms of x. So yung time natin kasi hindi naman given, yung given sa atin is the distance na 60 meters, 2 meters, and meron tayong angle. So gawin natin yung time in terms of x. And itong time na equals to x over vox is substitute natin dito sa equation of value of y na voy times t minus 1 up dt square. So magkaroon tayo ng voy or the vertical component of the initial velocity times time na x over vox minus 1 half times the acceleration due to gravity 
times yung x over vox squared. And voy, that is vo sine theta din. And yung vox natin, that is vo cosine theta. Minus gx squared over 2 times vox squared. So as you can see, pwede natin guys palitan yung sine theta over cosine theta that is equal to tan theta and magkakancel yung VO natin or the initial velocity. So magkakaroon tayo ng x tan theta minus gx squared all over 2 VOx squared. So this is the derived formula na magagamit natin in any projectile motion. So yung VOx nga natin, this is the horizontal component of our initial velocity na VO cosine theta. So, this can be used in any position along the curvilinear motion. So, kahit ano guys na projectile motion in any problem na may merong projectile motion, uh, pwede itong magamit. Pero guys, yung paggamit nito, hindi lang basta-basta kasi i-check din natin yung position of our stone or yung particle man natin na binigyan natin ng uh, velocity. Kasi meron tayong Cartesian coordinate plane. If the stone nilagay natin sa origin of our Cartesian coordinate plane, ibig sabihin, kung yung direction niya is to the right, yung value of x natin is positive. Pero kung yung direction naman is to the left, yung value of x naman, that is negative. Tapos pag upward naman, syempre yung value of y, that is positive. And kung downward naman, that is negative. So after yung stone natin, nandito na sa final position niya, so yung x natin this time, from the origin hanggang dito, sa final position, that is 60 meters. And for y naman, syempre, sabi ko nga, kung pababa tayo along the origin, syempre, yung y natin, that is negative 2 meters. Tapos yung theta natin na given, that is 30 degrees from the horizontal. So, substitute the value. So, yung y nga natin, that, that is negative 2 meters. So, isubstitute natin dito sa equation na derived natin. So, negative 2 meters is equal to x is 60 meters times tangent 30 degrees minus yung acceleration due to gravity that is that is 9.81 meter per second square times yung x na value that is 60 meters tapos na naka-square all over 2 VO x squared. So, simplify natin. So, 60 meters times tangent 30 that is 34.641 meters minus 9.81 times 60 square that is 35,316 cubic meter per second square all over 2 VO x squared. So, ilipat sa kabila guys, kaya naging positive and ilipat naman natin sa kabila yung 2 meters. Kaya magkakaroon tayo ng 35,316 all over 2 VOX squared is equal to 34.641 meters plus 2 meters. So, that is, that is 36.641 meters and cross multiply. So, ilipat natin sa baba and yung 2 VOX squared sa kabila naman. So, 35,316 all over 36.641 that is 963.838 square meter all over second square is equal to 2 VOX squared. So divide both sides by 2, that is 481.92. And square it both sides, so magkakaroon tayo ng value now na VOX, that is equal to 21.95 meter per second. Hindi pa ito yung sagot, kasi yung VOX natin, that is equal to the initial velocity VO times cosine theta. In theta nga natin, that is 30 degrees, so substitute. So divide both sides by cosine 30 degrees, so meron tayong value na 25.35 meter per second and this daw the answer for our third problem in our dynamics of rigid values na projectile motion. And that's it. Thank you very much. Have a good day.